This is lesson 14.5. It's about the law of cosines. The law of cosines is used for finding missing uh, measures in a triangle, either angles or sides. And in this video, I will show you the law of cosines and then I'm going to prove it. So here is the law of cosines. It comes in three varieties because you have the three sides and the three angles. So depending on what sides are known and what angles are known, you use the different versions. But the main thing that you should notice is that the side is across from the angle. So if I want to know something about angle A, I need to make sure that I know something about side A and use that portion of the triangle. Okay, so here is a triangle. We're going to use this to prove the law of cosines. We're going to start with this piece of the triangle. In this piece of the triangle, using uh, the Pythagorean theorem, we can say that b squared, the hypotenuse, is equal to x squared plus h squared. Just simply the Pythagorean theorem. And then using um, the law, or just cosine, we can say the cosine of A is equal to x over B. Solving this equation for x, we can say x equals B times the cosine of A. Okay, we're just going to hang on to that stuff and use it later. In this other triangle here, we can do the same thing. Using the Pythagorean theorem, we can say A squared is equal to C minus X quantity squared plus H squared. The squares of the legs are equal to the square of the hypotenuse. And then we're going to take C minus X and we're going to expand that binomial. So we would be foiling C minus X times C minus X. It gives us C squared minus 2CX plus X squared. And then put the H squared down here. Just carry it through. Okay, we should notice at this point that we have x squared plus h squared is equal to b squared from our first triangle. So we're going to substitute x squared plus h squared for b. So we're going to have a squared equals c squared minus 2cx plus b squared. Simple substitution. And then we're going to substitute for x. We know that x equals b times the cosine of a. So in the place where x was, we're going to put b times the cosine of a. Rearranging this formula, we get a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc times the cosine of a. And that is the law of cosines. So we can use the law of cosines to find any missing side or missing angle in the triangle. And that's it for this lesson. One more time, there is the law of cosines if you need to copy it down.